All right, we are recording, my friend. Let's get that in your house. We are just go ahead and get our live uh, feed going here. Welcome, friends, coast to coast and worldwide. You're live on the air with Pastor Rick. And there it is. Okay, well, we uh, apparently uh, it is recording. I don't know why. Uh, I tested it like yesterday, and I for some uh, strange reason it is not coming through my headphones, which I I don't really understand why. Uh, I should have uh, something rolling through. I just tested it yesterday. So anyway, let's go live on StreamYard, friends. Oops. Uh, hold on. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's get our intro first, and then let's go live. Amen. All right. There we go. A little after 1.30 here. We are just about going live. We've got Twitch TV with us this morning. Uh, amen. And make sure that is set. Live on the air, my friends. Mercy, always something going on. I I went through all of, uh, I went through everything, uh, and uh, didn't see what was going on. There it is. Hey, Streamyard, what's going on? How are you doing? It's Pastor Rick, uh, back again. Thought I'd go ahead and jump back online for you or with you, uh, as we have some uh, church this morning. Uh, let's see. Let's go to, uh, let's see, let's go to our live feed here. Lots of channels. We do have uh, Twitch back with us this morning. Uh, amen. So bear with me on that, you guys. Hold on. I don't know why uh, I am not hearing in the mix. I, I don't get it. Uh, I've got nothing. Our usual feed is not there, so still uh, having some problems. I don't know what it was, but um, I got everything connected right. Everything uh, should be uh, in. And, well, I don't know. I don't know, friends, but uh, I know it's working because I can hear it in the main part of the monitors. So, I don't know. I I did test everything out, and it was looking and sounding good. Not sure why uh, it wasn't there, but I don't know, friends. I don't know. So, let's try it in the main mo uh, monitor there. All right. So, there it is. Well, you can still kind of hear it. So, I, I just, uh, I'm not sure why. I'm not hearing it in my uh, metrics. That doesn't make any kind of sense at all. Uh, kind of the same issue I had last night. Uh, amen. All right. Well, I guess I'll have to just worry about that later, I guess. I don't know. A little technical issue again. Why not? Throw it at me. Come on in, you know. Uh, all right. Let's go ahead and grab... Uh, tin can and tin can you're on the air how you doing it's pastor rick we got some coffee some bible uh doors are open come on in let's uh have a seat let's get some church uh a little after 1 30 our wednesday uh what is it third third service here did a couple updates earlier and um uh, yeah so got that done got that taken care of so this will be our third service, morning service, of course. Uh, amen. Boy, it's good to be here with you. Uh, we got, uh, let's see, we're live on StreamYard. We got Block Talk Radio, Radio.co, Tin Can, LinkedIn. Uh, who else? We got uh, X, Twitter, uh, all kinds of channels. Got it all posted out already. And uh, back on Twitch TV again, live streaming uh there again this morning and uh yeah so that's a uh, good deal and uh, let's see we've got everything good going good kids again behave yourself uh you're in church all right so we got coffee uh amen and our backup coffee bibles pens papers notebook tablets highlighters for your highlighters and so much more friends it is on this morning glad to be here with you I decided to go ahead and, and keep the momentum going and uh, get back on 
somewhat of a tracking anyway, you know, uh, as uh, as my schedule uh, permits me and allows me to podcast, I hopefully uh, take an opportunity to, to get back on track here. Uh, so I'm planning on trying to do these every night, uh, at least as at least close as I can anyway. Um, you know, I thought about that. I was like, yep, yeah, we better... We better get back on track. We got some things to do. We got some uh, preaching to do. Uh, amen, friends. So come on in. We're not even going to waste time. Let's just get right into it. Let's uh, do some Bible uh, Bible study podcast. Uh, amen. This morning, uh, let's see, as we are in the 27th year, our third service. Uh, amen. Again, Pastor Rick, uh, Ministry Podcast Network, live on StreamYard, firing it up, friends. Come on in. Let's pray it in. Uh, amen. Uh, like I said, I, I can't let the devil have any time uh, to, you know, to do his thing because, uh, you know, I got to do my thing. So, uh, amen. All right. So, again, you know, real quick here. Thank you guys on the YouTube channel for your recommendations on the podcast here. Uh, I, I'm, i like, in in shock. I <laughs> I looked at that. I was like, wow, uh, thank you guys. Uh, that's all I can say is just thank you so much. It is amazing, and uh, I really, really appreciate you guys, uh, your recommendations and everything. And again, thank you for the subscribers, old and new, on the channels. I see it growing and uh, uh, getting, you know, getting them, the numbers up there. So thank you for that. Uh, amen. So again, as you guys know, my boom arm didn't work out. It kind of broke up yesterday or two days ago. Uh, so I will be ordering one in about a week or so. Uh, amen. And, uh, getting that, uh, getting that replaced all with all this and, uh, yeah, it's going to be good. So, amen. Let's see if I can't move maneuver. Uh, let's see. I guess I'm stuck there. Before we, <laughs> before we. Before we get in here, let me maneuver that up. And I again, I I have no idea why I'm not able to monitor uh, the uh, the extra little cords and you know the monitors. I can't hear it in the headset. So anyway, enough technical stuff. Let's get to the church. Let's get to the Bible. Uh, doors are open. Church is on. It is the 27th here, your third service. So let's get to it. Uh, thank you, Heavenly Father. For the day, for the rain, for the air, uh, for everything that you have continued to provide. It's just amazing and just awesome to be here. Uh, and uh, I'm just uh, glad and grateful and, uh, again, always humbled uh, to be called into this mission, this ministry, as uh, you know, as uh, you have called me to. Uh, Father God, I know uh, your hand is on this ministry as you watch over the uh, equipment, over the Wi-Fi, over the connections here, uh, over everything uh it's your church it's your service so I, i'm just a, a humble servant to a friend uh and uh thank you for that thank you for the mission that you have put me on this this road and this path that you have drawn me to uh father god i hope again as i always do i i always uh, hope that it touches and it helps somebody out there somebody here has an ear to hear and uh, eyes to see and uh you know that uh, they they get it and it, it's uh, it helps in their daily walk uh father god uh so as i always do praying for family friends everybody connected everybody watching hearing uh everybody out there that are going through their struggles their their day-to-day -day, uh you know struggle situations what's what's going on with them Father God, just, uh, you know, touch them, reach reach into them, into their hearts and their lives and uh, give them that encouragement and that hope and that peace. Uh, that's the biggest thing. A lot of us, a lot of them, uh, a lot of us are just out there lost and have no peace, Father God. But we need to uh, keep continuing to reach out to you and, and just call you because uh, we know you're there. Uh, but, uh, you know, and again, we just... There's such a, a dark world right now, uh, Father God. We need you more than ever, uh, more desperately uh, than ever right now. So as we cling on to you and hold on to that cross, Father God, and all the issues out there, I just give you thanks, praise and honor, and glory. Uh, this is for you, and uh, I'm thankful and grateful for that uh, opportunity here 
again. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. All right, my brethren and sisters, let's get to it. No time to waste. We're going to go right into our uh, podcast notes, and then we're going to open up with Isaiah 50, uh, what is it, uh, 53, 1 through 47 on this early Wednesday morning. Good to be here with you, uh, my friends. Amen. Double checking everything to make sure it's all connected. All right, let's get going, friends. Our opening scripture, our podcast notes, of course, the, uh, <laughs> I was going to sneeze and cough at the same time. Mercy. Who does that? I don't know. Anyway, we're live. We got Tin Can with us, of course, Spotify Podcast, iHeartRadio, iTunes, and so much more. Again, Twitch TV. Kids, hold your comments. Uh, I mean, if you want to drop by and say hello and where you're from, that's awesome, but uh, please hold your, your comments. Something like that. Anyway, thank you guys for just being there for me and with me, as this is your service here. All right, uh, dear God, I know that I'm a sinner and I need a savior. I want to turn away from my sinful life to the life you have planned for me. Uh, please forgive me for my sins and cleanse me of my past. Make me new. I know your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for me. And I believe in my heart uh, that you raised him from the dead. And at this very moment, I accept, confess, and proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. To live in my heart from this day forward. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace uh, that has saved me from my sins. Amen. And it's given me eternal life. Please send your Holy Spirit to guide me and to help me to do your will for the rest of my life. Friends, church, in Jesus' name, we pray right now. Amen and amen. All right, let's roll on to the next one as we do the serenity prayer. Friends, you know we got to do that one every day. Uh, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, and accepting hardships as the pathway to peace. Taking as Jesus did the sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. Amen and amen, friends. And there you go. Rolling right on through it, friends. The Lord's Prayer, as we need that too, right? Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen and amen on that one, friends. Amen. Always got to go through these. You know, we, we got to read these every single day. Get your feet on, when you put your feet on the ground. Uh, get your podcast notes and uh, just thank God for the day, friends, uh, for for your time there. Uh, as always, hey, I want to send a special shout out to my little sisters. Amen. And of course, my family and uh, everybody out there uh, watching, hearing, listening, dropping by the channel for a little bit, hanging out in the studio with me. Glad you guys are here. We are live in the studio, uh, Studio A. Uh, coast to coast and worldwide, you are live on the air, friends, with Pastor Rick here. Appreciate you dropping by. Konnichiwa, domo, arigato, my precious family and friends over in Japan, Tokyo, all over, all over Japan, international. Uh, amen and awesome, just really awesome. Uh, bless you guys, too, for all your support. Okay, get a couple little notes here together. We're going to go into the uh, uh, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20, the armor of God. Uh, friends, the whole armor of God, of course, we need to put that on every single day. Amen. Now, finally, my brothers and sisters, uh, he tells us to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Uh, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to st uh, stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, 
but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual uh, wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod to the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the Word of God. Uh, our Bible, uh, of course, amen, right? Our Word. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly as, uh, let's see, to make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that, that their enemies speak boldly, uh, let's see, as I ought to speak. Amen. All right. A little critter on there, jumping around on me. Uh, something like that. I don't know, it was uh, one of them little flies or something. Cruising the airport <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what it is, friends, you know. I got my fly catchers on, so I, I'm pretty sure they're mad because they can't get at my coffee. So, uh, nope, not today. All right, what do we got going on? Uh, amen. All right, so we're going to go right on into our notes here, friends. Uh, right on into our scriptures. And I'm, um, I'm not sure why, uh, and I'm not going to mess with this right now, but I, I'm not sure why, uh, as I kind of look at connections and chords here, I don't know why uh, I'm not able to uh, hear uh, anything in the monitors. That's just really strange that it's just stopped working. So, I don't know. Maybe I reconnected something different. I don't know. But we'll look into that after the podcast here. Because I got to have my monitors working. I don't know what that is. I'm, I'm not sure. But it is uh, It is annoying. So, I don't know. We'll uh, hopefully <laughs> it'll still work and... I'll be able to hear it, so. Well, anyway, hopefully this won't be three hours long like uh, last night or this morning's podcast. Uh, I did go uh, quite a bit over, but I had a lot to share with you. And, of course, uh, the one scripture in Matthew is about 57 uh, verses there. So uh, I did want to make sure that I covered that. Amen. Live on uh, now. I am recording through a lav mic. Uh, I am recording actually uh, on uh, what do we got? Wisdom and verbal as well. All right, let's pull that other monitor here. Did rearrange a little bit of uh, setup here, so bear with me on that. Amen. And let's see. All right, let's see if I can do this here. There it is. There's a monitor there. Amen. All right. Well, let's keep rolling here, friends, this morning. Again, not sure why I'm not getting anything in my monitor, but something's happened and uh, it triggered one of the cords or cable lines or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm kind of lost for words here. I don't know what that issue is with it, but uh, again, I... Thought I had it uh, squared up and taken, our, uh, taken, uh, you know, let's say taken care of. But it's for some reason I'm not. I don't hear it, uh, and I should be able to hear right through the monitor. I'm not sure what's going on, but um, well. Well, something I got to work on. I don't know why, but anyway, I'll work it, I'll work on that a little bit later here. Uh, it is going to bother me, but uh, kind of not a whole lot I can do with it. So we'll just let that go and keep moving, right? Amen. All right. There it is. Uh, front live on YouTube. You guys checking that out this morning uh, if you are on youtube worldwide international there you go amen all right so let's see 
Ba-da. Ba-da, ba-da, boom. Yeah, that's that's really strange stuff. Uh, I'm not sure what happened, but I, I lost my live uh, audio feed through the headphones, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. But anyhow, let's get to some scriptures, right? We're going to move along here, right? Say amen this morning. All right, chapter 52 and 53 in the book of Isaiah. Uh, well, no, not 52. I guess we're just going to jump right to 53. So do that, if you will, friends. Join me as we read along with the scriptures here that's what i do on this channel uh and i appreciate you guys uh your support prayers and your patience you know i was always having something going on here i never know but uh i try i'm trying to do what i can here and uh you know doing the best i can so amen all right. Well, and if you can, friends, uh, give me a thumbs up if the volume and the, you know, lighting, all that sounds good for you. And hopefully you guys can hear that okay. Uh, again, this is recorded live uh, through the headset here, uh, mic headset on channel one. And uh, we worked, uh, worked pretty hard to try to set that up, make sure that sounded good for you. So. Uh, amen. All right. Let's keep rolling, friends. You know what uh, Isaiah 53 says? Uh, friends, let's read that right now. Let's uh, get into our first Bible study uh, scripture here, friends, brothers and sisters. Church is on. Let's get moving. Amen, friends. All right. Who hath believed a report and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed or doctrine, right, as you take notes there, uh, for he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. He had no form nor comeliness, and when uh, we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. Isaiah 11, 1 on the side notes there, side scriptures. Uh, three, he is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as uh, it were our faces from him. Uh, he was despised, and we esteemed him not, Psalm 22, 6. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, church. Uh, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, friends, we are healed. Amen. Right? Uh, all we like sheep have gone astray. Uh, there it is. Uh, have, we have turned away, uh, turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord hath uh, laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, church. Uh, and uh, let's see, and as a sheep before her shears is dumb. So he opened not his, uh, openeth not his mouth, Matthew 26, 63, and Acts 8, 32 for that one. Uh, amen. And we got verse 8. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare uh, his generation. For he was cut off out of the land of the living, for the transgression of my people was he stricken. Uh, and he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. Uh, yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief when ye shall, or thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. Uh, he shall, let's see, he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. Amen. Right. Now he shall see of the travail of his soul and shall be justified or satisfied by his knowledge. Uh, shall my righteous servant justly justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. And uh, see, in 12, therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he hath poured out his soul unto death. And he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. And that's it. There you go, friends. A quick, easy, uh, you know, uh, an important scripture in the book of Isaiah. Amen. 
All right, so Isaiah 53 that we opened up with right there. Amen. All right, so I'm going to go into uh, something I haven't done in a while. I want to share this with you, uh, friends, if you will, and uh, we'll go ahead and look at this. Uh, amen. Go back into my notes here. Um, if you, you know, if you had said the sinner's prayer of salvation, friends, uh, we're going to go over it again. Uh, God's plan for salvation. I'm going to throw some scriptures at you. Uh, and as we've talked about this in the past uh, podcast, friends, uh, the subtopic, of course, the main topic is God's plan for salvation. And then the subtopic, and this goes all the way down to six parts here. Uh, it's about, that is the main part of it. So when I, I'll give you that uh, with the scriptures, of course. And then there's the second part of that, uh, how we got here, why God put us here. Uh, how we responded, God rescues us, our response, and how will you respond, folks? There you go. So let's get to it right away. Uh, friends, the first one, let me go ahead and just read off the top, the main part here. Uh, how can I find meaning and purpose in life? That's a common question, church, uh, and worth considering. So what is life all about, and how does this relate to God, me, and eternity, friends? All right, number one, right out of the gate here, it's about how we got here. Now, people on this planet didn't get here by some cosmic accident. At creation, God said, let us make man in our own image. Uh, Genesis 1.26, of course. <coughs> God created men and women and placed us here on earth. Amen. Two, why God put us here. God loved what he created and created us to truly know and enjoy him. He loved us and wanted to live in fellowship with us. Now, in the beginning, we lived in harmony and happiness with God and one another. Genesis 1.31 for that. Number three, how we responded, church. Amen, right there. So in our early history, the first humans turned away from God, as we see many fall away. Uh, you know, we're watching it daily here, friends. And, you know, the increase over the last couple of years, as I've mentioned, uh, we see people turning away and falling away. Uh, reprobate minds, right? Uh, so let's keep going on this one. Uh, let's see here again in uh, how we responded in part three. They turned away from God and went their own way and fellowship with God was broken. Now all people are born with a sinful nature and without exception, all of us have sinned. Romans 3, 23 and fallen short of the glory of God, right? Uh, the consequence of this is that we were separated from God and deserve punishment for our sins or hell, right? Uh, friends, we deserve hell. But there's a solution. God rescued us, friends. Out of his deep agape love for us, God sent his only son, Jesus Christ, into the world to rescue us from our dilemma. By dying on the cross, John 3:16, of course, uh, by sacrificing his own life on behalf of sinners, he took the punishment we deserve in order to provide salvation. Uh, then God raised Jesus from the dead, confirming the work of Jesus on the cross and establishing his power and authority over death, friends. Got to write that down too, that uh, authority that he has. And he's given that to us as well. Okay, uh, number five, our response. Jesus has sufficiently paid the debt for all of our wrongdoing, and we are called to turn from our sin, rebellion, and isolation uh, and trust what Jesus has done on our behalf. Now, God makes, uh, very, makes very clear the conditions by which the salvation Jesus offered can be ours, friends. Scriptures, this is Mark 1.15. Now, as we know, uh, brother and sisters, church here, listen, we, we know, he says, repent ye and believe the gospel. 
Uh, right. And uh, he says, first, God says we must repent. Now, of course, getting into the uh, meaning and stuff here, uh, the word repent means a change of direction. This means when we turn to God, we are turning away from sin and giving up on the attempt to make ourselves right before God. Now, second, God says we must believe. And the word believe, as it is used in the Bible, means trust. The object of our trust is one who paid the price for our wrongdoing. We must trust Jesus, friends, uh, to remove our guilt and the penalty of all the wrongs we have done. And the Bible says when we put our faith in Jesus, God takes away our sins and gives us the gift of eternal life. Uh, amen. Now, number six, how will you respond? Now, that's a big, that's a big question here. Uh, let, let me fix this part here. I, I just noticed something uh, that I didn't get from the last time I was doing this. So I want to make sure I correct it uh, now while I can see it, right? All right, good enough. Um, that's a, a whole other project right there. So uh, we're going to go to number six here. And again, the topic or the subtopic is how will you respond, friends? So the Bible says that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord will be rescued, right? Uh, Romans 10, 13. If you have not trusted in Christ as Lord and Savior, why not stop right now? Turn from your sin and believe in him who alone can save you and give you, as he says here, uh, give you new and eternal life, friends. And there you go. Boy, that is a, a really good message, friends. I'm really glad that I got this new Bible. Uh, it has uh, been such a blessing here. Uh, amen. All right, so there you go, friends. Uh, repent, for the kingdom is at hand. Amen. All right, so God's plan for salvation. All right, 1508. So I <laughs> give you my page number I'm looking at here. Uh, amen. We're going to go to another, another well, quite a few, few scriptures here. Uh, as I always like to do here, as we are a Bible study podcast uh, channel and platform. Amen. Amen. Okay, where are we at? Uh, we got Matthew 28 on the list, friends. Uh, I'll go ahead and give you a couple minutes there. Go ahead and find it, church, if you will. You're in your first hour, Studio A, Pastor Rick Ministry Podcast Network on another fine broadcast here. Giving you that precious word of God, my friends. Uh, you know, like I say, I really felt like really empowered. Uh, not well empowered, but uh, kind of overwhelmed by the spirit uh, to, you know, keep going, keep moving on this podcast uh, to make sure that I keep getting this out. Uh, as I always say, hey, it's not about me. Um, it's about being obedient to the spirit. And you guys that are called to do these, you know, preaching and, and you know, five four falls ministry there, uh, you know what I'm talking about. It's, a, it's something in your in your heart, in your mind, in your soul that uh, you know we are called to preach this message, uh, no matter what. We are carrying on the traditions of Jesus and the disciples, uh, you know, and those that followed after that preaching the word of God to a dying uh, world, friends. So, uh, again, that's why I'm stepping things up a little bit. I know my my friend texts me, goes, are you okay? That's a couple of days in a row here. What's up with that? I said, yeah, I just felt inclined to the spirit to keep going and keep, you know, keep doubling up on this and just keep moving forward, uh, and, you know, um, Again, now I have this scheduled, I think, at 1130, uh, but I, I try to take a little bit of a, a rest right before, and I didn't wake up. I didn't even hear my alarm clock. So I said, well, we better get on that and, uh, you know, make sure that uh, doesn't happen, you know, get get on that and keep going. So uh, that's why it, it, I moved it to 130 so I could get a little bit of rest here. Now, hang on. Uh, 
again, I have to kind of maneuver, uh, maneuver this. Uh, <laughs> I got to maneuver my mic stand again. That's why, like I said, friends, I am going to get, uh, go ahead and order one of my, let's see what's going on here. I'm going to go ahead and order uh, one of my boom arms again. I found a really good one, actually, a really super strong, uh, really good one, uh, solid. Uh, so hopefully it won't break out uh, like the other one did. But uh, it's, it's you know, those are nice. If you guys see those or use them. And I see a lot of streamers, uh, you know, podcasts uh, using those boom arms. I had one for a while. It broke. Uh, and, uh, so I found another one, a little bit stronger, a little bit tougher, a little bit more money, but, uh, it's worth the, worth the cost. So you'll be seeing that up in the next year, uh, in October. So here just in another, oh, about another week or two, I should have that, uh, finances come through, uh, our donation center and, uh, our, you know, finances, uh, build up there. I'll be getting some, so or getting that anyway. So uh, it's gonna be good. I'm glad. I'll be glad to get one. Glad to have that uh, extra um, boom arm there, because this can go. <laughs> this will go away. It's great. It's better than the other one, but uh, you know when I try to maneuver it, uh, it's kind of right there in a way. And I don't know. I, I just you know it is what it is. I guess as they say. Well, let's get on to the next one, brothers and sisters. How about 28, chapter 28 in the book of Matthew this morning on our third podcast Wednesday morning. I had to double check uh, to make sure it was Wednesday because, uh, you know, I've been kind of known for uh, mislabeling and putting the wrong information on there. So I had to double check. So let's grab some coffee. Uh, relax, come on in, Studio A, you're live on the air, again, friends, live on the air with Pastor Rick here, uh, coast to coast and worldwide, uh, live on StreamYard, I, I've been missing, hadn't been a chance to get on there, uh, we did do, you know, I did the audio, and then we jumped on Restream TV, so I said, well, Tuesday nights, uh, usually, uh, Tuesday, no, uh, Tuesday, was it Tuesday? Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday is StreamYard TV. So I'm kind of changing the schedule around a little bit. But as I look at my calendar here, and I make sure, I'm like, what day is this? Where are we at? So anyway, y'all know when you see the red light on, you know that I am here uh, live in your living room, in your kitchen, wherever you guys have your Bible studies. I am here preaching the good news gospel, my friends. Amen. By the grace of God. Amen. All right. Doing the audio and the video part of the podcast, as I've always done, friends. It's awesome. Uh, amen. Double checking sound again. I'm not, and I'm, I'm kind of stumped. I don't know. I don't know why I'm not hearing uh, the main part of the volume, but like I said, I'll work on that again after after the broadcast here. Uh, I I listened to it yesterday and I heard it just fine, so I don't know why it's not coming through uh, my system. So anyway, let's get to some Bible study, friends. Let's go ahead and keep going on this early Wednesday morning church, uh, early service, right? Early early church service here. Now, again, I should be back up and uh, later on tonight. We'll see what happens, but I should be back up on the uh, Wednesday, back up on Restream TV. I might throw Mel and TV in there, too. I still got that channel. I just haven't uh, had a chance to cover the finances on it, but I still got some a little bit of time on there, so I might I might jump on uh, and do a live broadcast on Mel and TV. So anyway, we're going to keep reading and keep going here on this fine uh, rainy, kind of balmy uh, Wednesday early morning. It's a cool, cloudy 49 degrees in our neck of the woods here, friends, and uh, I don't mind. It's all right. It's nice and cool. Uh, amen. All right. Chapter 28 in the book of Matthew. Let's go ahead and read that, brothers and sisters. Now, in the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and other uh, the other Mary to see the sepulcher, Matthew twenty-seven fifty-six, And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. 
His countenance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, uh, as he says, the keepers did shake and become as dead men, or became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the woman, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. Uh, he is not here, for he is risen. As he said, come and see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There uh, shall ye see him. Lo, I have told you, Matthew twenty six thirty two. And they departed quickly from the sepulcher with fear and great joy and did run to bring his disciples word. Uh, amen. Verse 9. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, All hail. And they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. Then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid. Go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee, and there shall they see me. Now, in verse 11, Now when they were going, behold, some of the uh, of the watch came into the city and shewed unto the chief priests all the things that were done. And when they were assembled with the elders and had taken counsel and gave large money unto the soldiers, uh, saying, Say ye, his disciples came by night and stole him away while we slept. And if this come to the governor's ear, we will persuade him and secure you. All right, get that channel taken care of here. Uh, so they took the money and did as they were taught. Uh, and this saying is commonly reported among the Jews until this day. When the eleven disciples went into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, uh, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spake unto them, uh, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye again. This is our directive. I would say our orders uh, as Christians, as uh, in the fivefold ministry, as pastors, teachers, uh, preachers, uh, amen, right, evangelists. Uh, this is our, uh, and again, I would say our orders, uh, friends, as we carry on the tradition of the disciples, Jesus and the disciples, to go unto all nations, kindreds, and tongues, and preach this gospel of Jesus Christ, friends. Uh, amen. We've got to step up into position. As it says in Ezekiel 33, 1 through 33, uh, be on your post. Sound the trumpet. Sound the alarm, uh, friends. And, and again, as I got this too, uh, what are you doing with your opportunities to share the gospel? Are you sleeping you know, at the wheel there, you're sleeping on Jesus. Are you, are you just kind of shrugging it off and hiding? Are you actually doing something with the mission that you have been called to do, friends? And I had to look at myself going, I need to step this up. I No slacking here because, uh, you know, the devil's not slacking. We clearly see that in these end times. We, we, we see what's happening. <laughs> The devil's on his post. He's on his job. He's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Kill, steal, and destroy, uh, friends. And so we have to step it up as Christians, as preachers, teachers, pastors. We have to step up our position. And our game plan uh, is to keep fighting, keep preaching this word, keep uh, you know, keep this word going. Uh, and again, that's why I do the podcast. That's the motivation why I've been doing the podcast for, for, for a while. Um and every time I, you know, every time I go back and look, I don't want to do this. And then I stop that nonsense thinking from the devil. And I look at it, go do my studies. And, I, and I'm, and i you know, in reality, in a, in a check there, as I check myself before I wreck myself. Uh, <laughs> amen, right? Uh, I'm like, uh, you know, I get to do this. What a privilege it is to share the Bible, to share the word, 
No matter what the world says, we don't please man. We please God, friends. We're, we're not worried about what man thinks or does. His opinions really don't mean anything. We, we, what God thinks about us and what we do for God, that's what matters, friends. And you've got to really give yourself a reality check. Uh, you know, those that are sitting on the fence, as, as we saw in Revelation 3. Uh, you know, hot or cold, i spew you out of my mouth, he says. It tells us. I don't know about y'all, but not, not on my watch. I don't want to be spewed out of God's mouth. So I'm, that's why I'm putting the pressure on myself to do these. So again, bless you guys for all your patience and support here over all these years. I think we uh, we hit a decade of podcasts here on uh, channels, and I think there's uh, something like two, almost three thousand videos uploaded on the channel. So that that's a huge milestone, and it's you guys <laughs> that are supported, that are subscribing. That's the motivation. I I, I have a bigger you know uh, um, what is it um, eyes on the prize. I, I see a bigger picture here. Uh, it's just patience, right? And that's, a, again, parts of the fruits of the Spirit, patience. Uh, and uh, so that's the motivation I was looking for, right? Amen. So anyway, I hope it helps you guys. I hope you get something out of it. A little humor, a little, co- you know, some coffee, Bible study. Uh, and I, I'm just, I'm glad I got called into this mission as hard as it is sometimes uh, where I want to pack up and quit and walk away. I don't think God's going to let me off the hook that that easily. I think, you know, when we make that promise in that wilderness test, uh, he's going to hold us accountable. And the more we know and the more knowledge and the more we preach and, and all that, uh, the more we're accounted for, or account, you know, the accountability uh, for those higher up, right? So, uh, amen. I'm, I'm, I'm willing, able, and all ready to take it. So, anyway, let's go to this main part here. In Matthew 28, uh, friends, here in verse 19, as we clearly see this, check this out, friends, and you can write this in your notes if you want uh, here. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Uh, Amen. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, or always, even unto the end of the world. Amen and amen. And we've got Acts 2.42 for that one. I'm just saying, friends, there it is. There's our there's our order, friends. And I thought I I thought I had um a bookmark, but I guess I don't. So well, anyway, I know where that's at. So that'll be probably up in the next few notes here again, too. So let me get that. Taken care of. Well, I hope you guys are doing well. Amen. On a Wednesday after Wednesday morning early. I know I'm having to do these early morning podcasts or, you know, real late, just like I said, because all the all the situation going on during the daytime in the offices and the, the you know, the uh, studios here. We do have two other units here, two other studios that are still in construction mode. Uh, and two mobile units that's that's set up and done, uh, amen. And of course, um, you know, two um, well, and and the basements, uh, the basement units got a couple of studios that we're working on too. So there's a lot of construction going on, a lot of things happening here. So um, you know, that's that's kind of what's going on here. Uh, and so that's that's why I've I've kind of had to go late night and early morning here. Uh, amen. All right. So what do we got on the menu for the next one? Uh, amen. Just got a few for you. Uh, let's see. All right. Um, let's go back over to Luke. I think we're gonna touch basis with a scripture here in Luke. Um, let me see. All right, there it is. Uh, Luke 10, I believe. Is that the yeah, Luke 10 here, friends? Go ahead and go to your Bibles and turn on over to that, and we will go ahead and look at this one. Uh, amen. All right, let's see. All right, so uh, let's take a look at it, friends. Luke chapter 10. 
uh, in your Bibles here, friends. Go ahead and get to that one right now. Now, after these things, the Lord appointed other 70 also and sent them to, as I was just talking about in Matthew here, uh, the other 70 also and sent them two and two before his face. Uh, let's see. Let's take a quick notes here, uh, friends. Do that. All right. So he sent them two by two uh, before his face into every city and place, whether he himself would come, Matthew 10, 1 on that one. Uh, Therefore said he unto them, the harvest truly is great. But the laborers, as I was just saying, the laborers, friends, are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest uh, that he would send forth laborers into the harvest. Go your ways, behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves, carry neither purse nor scrip nor shoes and salute no man by the way, Second Kings 4.29. In five and in two whatsoever house ye enter, for say, peace, friends, be to this house. And if the son of peace be there, your peace shall rest upon it. If not, it shall turn to you again. Uh, he says here, and in the same house, remain eating and drinking such things as they give. For the laborer is worthy of his hire. Go not from house to house and into whatsoever city he entered and receive you. Uh, eat such things as are set before you. And as we look at nine, and heal the sick, uh, right? Uh, heal the sick that are therein and say unto them, the kingdom of God has come nigh unto you. But into whatsoever city ye enter and you receive not, go your way or ways out into the streets of the same and say, uh, even the very dust of your city which cleaveth on us, we do wipe uh, uh, off against you. Notwithstanding, be ye sure of this, that the kingdom of God has come nigh unto you. Matthew 10, 14. But I say unto you, uh, he says, that it shall be more tolerable in that day for Sodom than for that city, friends. Uh, let's look at 13, I believe we're at here. Uh, Luke chapter 10. Now, woe unto thee, uh, Chorazin, woe unto thee, Bethsaida, for it, uh, if the mighty works had been done in Tyre and Sidon, which have been done in you, they had a great while ago uh, repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it shall be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And thou, or though uh, Capernaum, which art exalted to heaven shall be thrust down to hell, friends. Now at 16, he that heareth you heareth me. He that despiseth you, uh, let's see, despiseth me. And he that despiseth me despiseth him that sent me. That's going to be over Matthew 10, 40. And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through your name or thy name. Uh, Luke 10, I believe that's 10, 11 there. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. And behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions. All right. And over all the power, friends, you've got to use that authority that Jesus gave us, friends, right here. And over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you, Mark 16, 18. Notwithstanding in, these, uh, in this, uh, rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven, friends. In that hour, Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said, Thank thee. I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them. Uh, amen. Let me get that page together there. Unto babes, he says here in the next verse. 
Uh, even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight, all things are delivered to me of my Father, and no man knoweth who the Son is, but the Father, and who the Father is, but the Son, and he to whom the Son will reveal him. And he turned him unto his disciples and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things that ye see, Matthew thirteen sixteen. For I tell you that many prophets, church, and kings have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them, to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. All right, and uh, 25, And behold, a, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted it, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit uh, eternal life? Matthew 19, 16. And he said unto him, What is written in the law? How readest thou? And he answered and said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, church. There it is. There's, there's something we need to write down too. With all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy strength and with all thy mind as and thy neighbor as thyself. All right. Uh, and he said unto him, Thou hast answered right. This do and shalt thou shalt live. Uh, I believe that's Leviticus 18.5 for that one. Uh, he says, Thou hast answered right. This do and thou shalt live. Again, Leviticus 18.5. Let's go to 29 here. But uh, he, willing to justify himself, said unto Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Uh, Luke 16, 15. And Jesus answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, was stripped him of his raiment, and wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way, uh, and when he saw when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. Psalm thirty eight verse eleven. And likewise, a Levite, when he was at that place or at the place, came and looked on him and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him, and went to him and bound up his wounds pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast, and brought him to the, an inn, and took care of him. Uh, and the morrow, when he departed, he took two pence, and gave them to the host, and said unto him, Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. All right, um, let's see, let's go to this next one here. Uh, in verse 36, which now these three thinkest thou was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves. In 37, and he said, he that shewed mercy on him, then said Jesus unto him, go and do thou likewise. Now it came to pass as they went, and he entered into a certain village. Um, and... A certain woman named Martha received him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, which also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word, Luke 8.35, of course, as we look at the model prayer, friends, as we just read that. But Martha was cumbered uh, about much serving and came to him and said, Lord, dost thou not care that my sister hath left me to serve alone? Bid her, therefore, that she help me. As he says in 41, And Jesus answered and said unto her, Martha, Martha, uh, thou art careful and troubled about many things, but one thing is needful, and Mary hath chosen that good part which shall not be taken away from her. Uh, Psalm 27, 4. All right. So, now, listen, I'm going to add, <laughs> I'm going to add, I had to do, I don't know why I didn't put that in there on the second part of this. Um, let's see. So bear with me here. I'm going to change something up a little bit here. We're going to add 11. Chapter 11 on this one here, friends. Um, I just, I was like, why don't I have 11 in here? Amen. So bear with me. We're going <laughs> to put another verse in there. 
Uh, I usually just do one or two verses at a time, sometimes three or four, the whole or the whole chapter. But uh, this one just kind of compelled me to do eleven. So, all right. Uh, let's see. Oops. And we're going to do this here. So bear with me, guys. I'm going to just kind of add a, another part here. Um, let's see. All right. So 10 and 11 here, friends. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to make sure I got the right one here. Um, amen. All right, bear with me. We're going to go here real quick here. Let's see. Uh, is that what I want? All right, bear with me, friends. We're going to we're going to do something here real quick. Thank you guys for waiting so patiently for me. Um, all right, there it is. Got that good stuff there. Okay, so let's keep rolling this morning, friends. We are, let's see. Amen. Take some notes here on the mission there, on the podcast there. Okay, so 11, friends. So let's keep going and let's go on over to uh, Luke chapter 11 here this morning. Um, let's see. Did I read all that? Uh, but up do no, I didn't. I don't think I read all of that. Um, where did we leave off? We were still in ten, and um, let's see. Okay, so okay, let me kind of backtrack. See where I was at. I forgot. Uh, I kind of lost track of where I was at. I thought we'd gone through. Uh, 11, but maybe not, or 10. Uh, um, so let me go back. So I think uh, I'm just going to pick up, because I remember kind of close to where we were at here. Um, all right. Give me a minute here, friends. Let me kind of <laughs> find my place. Let's go back. How about we just pick up at verse 18 again, friends? Let's go back to 10, 18 here. Uh, amen. So he says in 18, And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. And behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing by any means shall hurt you. Mark 16, 18. And 20, notwithstanding in this, uh, he says, rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Uh, in the hour, re let's see, Jesus rejoiced in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father and Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these, uh, hid these things from the wise and prudent and hast revealed them. I think we were right about there. And unto babes, even so, Father, so it seemed good in thy sight. Uh, all things were delivered to me of my Father, and no man knoweth who the Son is but the Father, uh, and who the Father is but the Son, and he to whom the Son will reveal him. And there you go. You got your first hour, tin can. That's it for us here. Uh, Ministry Podcast Network. Pastor Rick, good to see you on the 27th already, Wednesday. Amen. Early third service here, live on the air. All right. So, amen. Our friends over at Tin Can on the tablet there. All right. That's it. Let's close them out. And let's post that out there. Again, you guys, if you happen to have Tin Can, go look it up. It's an awesome channel. And uh, like I said, I kind of got in the early groundwork of that channel. Um, just saw an advertisement for it, some little spot for it, and I've uh, been on there ever since. So it's a blessing, you know. And I think I somebody asked me a question: Why are you on a, you know, a uh, on a channel that nobody really pays attention to? Well, 
you know, they're all important. All the channels are important, and uh, it's I have to I have to do it. I have to get on those channels. So, uh, amen. All right. So while I'm not waiting for that to go, we are going to kind of just pick back up uh, on the next verse here. I think 22. As I am just uh, kind of taking care of a couple spots that I see. All right. So let's keep going. You're still in your first hour. Uh, amen. You're here. And again, just a little over an hour here. So let's keep going. We've got 22 here in Luke 10. And then we're going to go to 11 as well. All right. All things are delivered to me of my father and no man knoweth who the son is, but the father and who the father is, but the son and he to whom the son will reveal him. Now let's go on to 23 here. And he turned him uh, unto his disciples and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things that ye see. Matthew 13, verse 16, friends. All uh, right, 24. For I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them to uh, hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. And there it is. All right. Let's see. All right. Let's refresh that channel. You know, you got to do that. All right. There it is. So let's go over to our monitors here, friends. Let's check a couple of monitors here on LinkedIn, live on LinkedIn. Pastor Rick there. Uh, amen. And let's see. All right, so that looks good there. And, of course, we're going to jump on over to X, Twitter, formerly Twitter. I guess we got to officially call it X, uh, which I'll never, <laughs> I'll never get used to that. But, you know, it's what it is. So, amen, amen. All right, thank you guys. Live right now, my friends, on X. Uh Pastor Rick are there at X TV or X Twitter, right? Or X. Anyway, live on there. That looks good and fresh. Amen. Let's go on over to our Twitch uh, TV channel here. As I, again, just making the rounds real quick to make sure everything sounds good and looks good here. Talk shows and podcasts, my friends, on that category for Twitch TV. You guys can look that up. Ministry podcast live there. Uh, amen. All right. Let's see. Amen. Give me a minute. And let's see. All right. All right. We're here. There you are. All right. Our our live uh, playback. Um. Our <laughs> we're watching it on Twitch TV here. All right. Let's go. Uh, friends. Let's keep going. Now, as we just finished 23, let's go on to 24. For I tell you that many prophets and kings uh, have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do? Now watch this again. Uh, to inherit eternal life, Matthew 19:16. In 26, as we are reading Luke 10 and 11 this morning, good to be here with you all. Now he said unto him, What is written in the law? How readest thou? In 27, and he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy strength and with all thy mind and thy neighbor as thyself. And he said unto him, uh, friends, as we see here, uh, thou hast answered right, this do, and thou shalt live. Leviticus 18.5. Again, I think that's where we kind of picked up and left off, or actually left off the other, uh, just before here. But he, willing to justify himself, said unto Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Luke 16.15. And Jesus, answering, said, a certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves which stripped him of his raiment. Now, I think we already read all this, but I wanted to go back and make sure. So we're just going to kind of jump through it because I think 
I remembered right uh, right where I kind of got lost at here. Oh, mercy. It happens, friends. All right. So I think we're just going to jump all the way over. And I think we did uh, finish 10. Now that I recall it, now that I kind of look back on it. So just kind of fast forward that part. Let's go to chapter 11 in the book of Luke here. So it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. And he said unto them, When ye pray, say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done as in heaven and so in earth. Matthew uh, 6, 9 for that. Give us day, to, day by day our daily bread, uh, or for the day, he says here. And forgive us our sins, for you also forgive everyone that is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, friends. And he said unto them, uh, which of you shall have a friend and shall go unto him at midnight and say unto him, Friend, lend me three loaves. For a friend of mine in his journey is come to me, and I have nothing to set before him. And he from within shall answer and say, Trouble me not, the door is now shut, uh, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give thee. I say unto you in verse 8, though he will not rise and give him because he is his friend, yet because of his import, uh, importunity, he will rise and give him as many as he needeth. Luke 18, 1. And I say unto you, ask, church, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find it. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Matthew 7, 7. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is, is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Oh, mercy. All right, uh, 12. Or if he shall ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Friends, there you go. Okay, uh, 14. And he was casting out a devil, and it was dumb, and it came to pass when the devil was gone out. And the Lord spake, and the people wondered, Matthew 9, 32. Uh, for, uh, 15 here. But some of them said, he casteth out devils through Beelzebub, the chief of the devils. And others, tempting him, sought of him a sign from heaven. But he, knowing their thoughts, said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided against a house falleth. Matthew twelve twenty five and John two twenty five for that. If Satan also be divided against himself, how shall his kingdom stand? Because you say that I cast out devils through Beelzebub. 19. And if I by Beelzebub cast out devils, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore shall they be your judges. But in 20. But if I with the finger of God cast out devils, no doubt the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. Matthew twelve twenty nine, In 22, But when a stronger than he shall come upon him and overcome him, he taketh from him all his armor 
wherein he trusted and divided the spoils, he that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth. Uh, when the unclean spirit is gone out of man, or a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest and finding none. He saith, I will return unto my house whence I came out. And 25, And when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh to him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. As we look at a house divided cannot stand. And Jesus rebukes the Pharisees. Uh, so let's continue here in 26. To him, again, kind of backtracking here just a bit. Uh, seven other spirits, more wicked than himself, and they enter in. And dwell there, and the last state of that man is worse than the first. Uh, amen, friends. Thank you guys for joining me this morning. And it come to pass, as he spake these things, a certain woman of the company lifted up her voice and said unto him, Blessed is the womb that bear thee, and the paps which thou hast sucked. Uh, Luke one twenty eight, But he said, Yea, rather, uh, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it, friends. There it is. Come on now, friends. Uh, yea, rather, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Amen. Now, let's, uh, let's roll on to the next part here. Verse 29. And when the people were gathered thick together, he began to say, Ah, this is an evil generation. They seek a sign, and there shall no sign be given of it, but the sign of Jonas, the prophet. Matthew 12, 38 to that. For as Jonas was a sign unto the Ninevites, let's get these notes together here. What's up with that? Uh, for as the Ninevites, so shall also the Son of Man be to this generation. Jonah 1, 17. We, we've been in the book of Jonah there a few times there. So the Queen of the South in 31 shall rise up in the judgment with the men of this, genera or this generation and condemn them. For she came from the outer, or utmost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. Uh, so then let's see did to do backtrack just a little bit and behold the greater than solomon is here the men of nineveh shall rise up let's get that straightened out mercy really all right um let's get that together all right uh shall condemn it for they repented at the preaching of jonas and behold the greater than jonas is here and we see in 33, no man, when he hath lighted a candle, putteth in a secret place, neither under a bushel, but on a candlestick, that they which came or come in may see the light. The light of the body is the eye, and therefore when thine eye is single, the whole body also is full of light. But when thine eye is evil, thy body also is full of darkness. Matthew 6.22 Take heed, therefore, that the light which is in thee be not darkness. If thy whole body, therefore, be full of light, having no part dark, the whole shall be full of light. And when the bright shining of a candle doth give thee light, and as he spake, a certain Pharisee besought him to dine with him. And he went in and sat down to meet. And when the Pharisee saw it, he marveled that he had not first washed before dinner. And the Lord said unto him, Now do ye Pharisees make clean the outside of your cup and the platter, but your inward part is full of ravening and wickedness. Matthew twenty three twenty five for that ye fools did not he that made that which is without make that which is within also 
uh, 41, but rather give alms of such things as ye have, and behold, all things are clean unto you. Isaiah 58, verse 7 on that. Uh, amen. But woe unto you, Pharisees, as he says, for ye tithe mint and rue uh, and all manner of herbs and brass over or see, uh, and uh, pass over judgment and the love of God. These ought ye to have done and not to leave the other undone. Matthew 23, verse 23 for that. And I'm going to get caught up on this spot here real quick. Amen, or as quick as I can anyway. Amen, just a couple of spots I missed earlier again. Uh, man, all right, let's go ahead and fix that spot there. Amen, friends. Give me a minute here. Let me get caught up on this again. Okay, let's move on uh, to the next part here as we are in verse 40, I think, 40, 43, verse 43, uh, Luke 11. Now, woe unto you, Pharisees, for ye love the uppermost seats in the synagogue, or synagogues, and greetings in the markets, Matthew 23, 6. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are as graves, which appear not, and the men that walk over them are not aware of them. Psalm 5, 9. Then answered one of the lawyers and said unto him, Master, thus saying, thou reproachest also. And he said, Woe unto you uh, also, ye lawyers, for ye laid men with burdens grievous to be born, and ye yourselves touch not the burdens with one of your fingers. Uh, Matthew 23, verse 4. All right, woe unto you, for ye build the sepulchres of the prophets, and your fathers killed them. Truly ye bear witness that ye allowed the lead, or the deeds of our fathers, for they indeed killed them, and ye build their sepulchres. And therefore also said, the wisdom of God, I will send them prophets and apostles, and some of them they shall slay and persecute, Matthew 23, 24 there, or 34, that uh, the blood of all the prophets which shed, or was shed for the foundation of the world may be required of this generation, friends. Uh, from the blood of Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, uh, which perished between the altar and the temple all right verily i say unto you it shall be required of this generation genesis 4 8 all right woe unto you uh lawyers for ye have taken away the key of knowledge ye entered not in yourselves and them that were entering and ye hindered Matthew twenty three thirteen, as he said through these things uh, unto them, the scribes and the Pharisees begin to purge him vehemently, and to provoke him to speak of many things, laying wait for him and seeking to catch something out of his mouth that they might accuse him. And there you go on that, friends. All right, let's roll up here catch up with a couple of these uh, spots I missed again. All right. So that was Luke 10 and 11 for that part. Uh, I think that was uh, kind of important scriptures we, we check out, look at. Uh, amen. All right. Are we going to go to 12? Are we going to go to chapter 12 here, friends, on this early morning podcast? It's a little over 3 a.m. Oh, mercy. <laughs> I keep adding stuff because I, I just see stuff that I want to get to. Uh, amen. And uh, amen. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to stay in loop for a minute. Um, let's see. And I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go on to 12, right? I think that's what, the, that's what we're going to do here, friends. So bear with me again. 
adding another chapter. I know. I just see it and I hear it. And I know this is 59 verses, so this will be a, a good part of the Bible study here. Uh, amen. So bear with me on this one. An additional extra, two extra uh, verses there. And I, I believe that's going to be part one, and we'll go into part two here. Mercy. I knew that was going to happen. It always does. I always see something else that I missed, and I'm kind of like, well, let's add that one, too. All right, let's keep reading. We better grab some coffee, friends. If you got your coffee with you, I hope you do, you know. Amen. Uh, we're going to look at Luke chapter 12, friends. We're going to keep rolling here uh, this morning. Live on the air, my friends. Amen. All right, chapter 12. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep reading some Bible here. Uh, so in the meantime, when they were gathered together, church, uh, in an innumerable multitude of people, in so much that they trod upon one upon another, he began to say unto his disciples, first of all, Beware ye of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. Uh, all right, Matthew 16, 6. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. All right, Matthew 10, 26. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light. And that which ye have spoken in the ear in closets uh, shall be proclaimed upon the housetops. And I say unto you, my friends, be not afraid of them that kill the body. And after that, as he says here, uh, see, have no more that they can do. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him, uh, which after he hath killed uh, or killed hath power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Uh, are not five sparrows sold for two farthings, and not one of them is forgotten before God? But even the very hairs of your head, friends, as we see, uh, are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows, friends. Also I say unto you, whosoever shall confess me before men, him shall the Son of Man uh, also confess before the angels of God. Matthew 10, 32 for that. Uh, but he that denieth me, watch this, friends. We've got to be careful about this one. But he that denieth me before men shall be denied before the angels of God. Friends, right there. And whosoever shall speak a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But unto him that blasphemeth against the Holy Ghost, friends, it shall not be forgiven. Matthew twelve thirty one. But when they bring you unto the synagogues and into magistrates and powers, take ye no thought how or what thing ye shall uh, answer uh, or what ye shall say. Matthew 10, 19, and Luke 21, verse 14. For the Holy Ghost shall teach you in the same hour what ye ought to say. And one of the company said unto him, Master, speak to my brother, that he divided the inheritance with me. And he said unto him, Man, who made me a judge or a divider over you? John 18, 36. And he said, uh, as as the headlines talk about here, do not worry or be fearful, friends. So let's go to 15. And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Uh, he says, uh, because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, this will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. 
and there will I be, uh, bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, uh, as he says, soul, thou hast much goods laid upon or laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those, let's see, get these together there, uh, those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God, Matthew 6, 20, 1 Timothy 6, 18. And he said unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought, church, for your life. What ye shall eat, neither for the body what ye shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have, uh, have storehouse nor barn. And God, friends, feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? Job thirty-eight forty-one. And which of you will, uh, with taking thought, can add to his stature one cubit? If ye then be not able to do that one thing which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They toil not, they spin not. Uh, and yet I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so clawed the grass, which is today in the field, that tomorrow is cast into the oven, uh, how much more will he clothe you, friends? O ye of little faith, and seek not ye what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of a doubtful mind, or doubtful mind, for all these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knoweth that ye have need of these things. But rather seek ye the kingdom of God, friends, there it is, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for if your Father is good pleasure to give you the kingdom, Matthew eleven twenty five. Sell that ye have and give alms. Provide yourselves bags which wax not old. A treasure in the heavens that faileth you not, uh, with where no thief approacheth, neither moth corrupteth, uh, or corrupteth. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Let your loins be girded about and your lights burning, friends. And ye yourselves like a demand that wait for their Lord. Uh, let's see, when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you, that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them. All right, and we've got the next verse here. And let me get that together in the notes. And if she, he shall come to second watch, to the second watch, or come in the third watch and find them so, blessed are those servants. Amen. 39, and this no. That the good man of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched uh, and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Be ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh in an hour when ye think not. That's verse 40 on that one. That's why we got to be prepared and not scared, friends. Be ye therefore ready, friends, for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when you think not. Uh, again, Matthew 24, 44. Let's go to 41 here. Then Peter said unto him, Lord, speakest thou this parable unto us, or even to all? And the Lord said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward, whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household, 
to give them their portion of meat in due season. Matthew 24, uh, verse 45. Blessed is that servant whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Of a truth I say unto you, that he will make him ruler over all that he hath. Matthew 24, 47 there. But, and if that servant say in his heart, as he tells us, be watchful, friends, uh, and discerning the times here. Uh, so let's go back to 45. But, and if that servant say in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming. And shall begin to beat the men servants and maidens, and to eat and drink, and to be drunken. Matthew twenty four forty eight. The Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him, church. And at that hour when he say, uh, when he is not aware, it will cut him asunder, and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. And that serpent, or, <laughs> servant, not a serpent, a servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, uh, shall be beaten with many stripes. 48. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes, for unto whomsoever much is given of him shall be much required. And of whom men have committed much of him, they will ask the more. I come to send fire on the earth. And what will I, if it be already kindled? Uh, Luke twelve fifty one, and fifty. But I have baptism to be baptism or baptized with. <clears throat> And how am I straightened till it be accomplished or pain? Suppose ye that I come to give peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division. Micah 7, 6. Uh, 52. From, from henceforth there shall be five in one house divided. Three against two and two against three. Uh, the father shall be divided against the son, and the son against the father. Uh, the mother against the daughter. Uh, again, discerning the times here. And the daughter against the mother, and the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law. Let's get that straightened out here. Uh, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And he said also to the people, when you see a cloud rise out of the west, straightway ye say, there cometh a shower, and so it is. Matthew 16, verse 2. And when you see the south wind blow, ye say, there will be heat, and it cometh to pass. Ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky and of the earth, but how is it that ye do not discern this time friends right yea and why even of yourself judge ye not what is right when thou goest with thine adversary to the magistrate as thou art in the way give diligence that thou mayest be delivered from him uh let's see lest he hail thee to the judge Get that fixed up. Uh, let's see. Let's go there. And the judge delivered thee to the officer, and the officer cast thee into prison. I tell thee, thou shalt not depart thence till thou hast paid the very last mite. Mercy, friends. Boy, that, that's a deep scripture there, right? All right. So we've got Luke, and there we go. Still in our first hour, a little after 3 o'clock in the morning, friends. Good to be here with you. Always uh, just awesome to be in, in church this morning uh, and have some Bible study. Uh, what a blessing and a privilege it is to be in the Word this morning. And, you know, every chance I get. Uh, amen. So let's go to our next scripture in the book. I believe in the book of John, uh, a couple of them over there. Uh, five and six 
uh, if you will. And I do hope you got your Bibles out with you because we're having some church this morning. Uh, amen, right? Uh, give me a thumbs up, folks. If you can, if everything looks okay and volume-wise is good. Um, let's see. Let's check the volume level. All right, there it is. I'm watching the playback there, so I have my other monitor uh, here. Uh, amen. Made a donation of my laptop there to my son, so uh, that'll be awesome for him to uh, have a uh, another laptop there. Uh, always, always good to share that out. So, oh, amen. All right. Uh, let's see. Amen. All right, and there it is. There it is. Da da do. All right, so just checking monitors. Just wanted to make sure everything was okay uh, here. Want to double check on the other channel here. Um, amen. All right, looks good. No problem there. All right. Um, let's see. All right, so we're going to go to our monitor for YouTube here. Oh, man. All right, right on the main page. Boy, that's awesome. Thank you guys again for all your support and uh, your, you know, pushing that out and uh, sharing that out uh, with uh, the channels there. So thank you. Recommended on Google. I, I was amazed. I'm in shock, actually. It's pretty awesome. So that's it there. That's going. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, just a little after 3 o'clock here. We're still rolling. We got our first hour. Uh, probably, like I said, not as long as last or this morning's. Probably a little over three, uh, three or four, yeah, probably two and a half hours here, maybe two hours, 15 minutes or so. I never know. Uh, like I said, my friends kept saying, you talk too much, brother. Well, yeah, you're right. I talk too much about God every opportunity I get because that's what we got to do, friends. That's what we got to step up to this mission, right? I'm just saying, my friends. All right, there it is. Well, let's get to it. How about we look at John? Uh, I want to go to five and six, friends, this morning on today's podcast, this morning's podcast on a Wednesday and again, I should be back on later tonight. I think about 10.30 to 11 o'clock. We'll kind of see. Like I said, I never know. Uh, I wish I could just be on when I can. Uh, you guys know the story. You know what's going on with that. So I take opportunities uh, anytime I get a chance to go on. So, hey, amen. You got to keep the pressure on the devil because the devil's keeping the pressure on us, friends. I'm just saying, you know. Uh, amen. All right, let's read some more Bible here, friends. Uh, we're going to look at, again, John chapter uh, 5 and 6 this morning on today's, uh, this morning's podcast. So, uh, amen. All right. Well, like I said, the boom stand is good. This is a backup uh, boom stand I have for our guest, Mike, uh, which is going to be on the other side. I've got a little desk and kind of a chair and stuff, kind of a lounge section uh, set up for uh, our guests uh, that come on into the studio and uh, so this will be that uh, mic stand over there and then I'll get my boom stand back and which I have uh, kind of set up over here in the corner which will be nice to have back it'll be I'm, I'm excited about uh, getting that boom arm back a little bit of work to do but it'll be all right hey man let's keep going let's keep reading some bible here Again, thank you guys for hanging out, coming on in, and uh, the replay viewers, of course. All right, let's catch our deep breaths. Take a deep breath. Too blessed to be stressed, my friends. Come on, you know, you know what it is. All right, let's read some Bible here, brothers and sisters, uh, as we look at John chapters 5 and 6 on this morning's podcast. Uh, so after this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem, Leviticus 23, 2, and John 2, 13. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, uh, which is called the Hebrew tongue, or in the Hebrew tongue, Bethesda, uh, what? Bethesda, 
I know. Uh, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, or blind hath withered, uh, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season in the pool, and troubled the water. Whosoever then first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in, was made whole uh, of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity thirty-eight years, friends. When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been uh, now a long time in the case, he saith unto him, Wilt thou be made whole, friends? The impotent man and answered and said, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool, but while I am coming, another steppeth down before me. And Jesus saith unto him, Rise, uh, take up thy bed, and walk, Matthew 9, 6 there. And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. And on the, uh, the same day was the Sabbath. Now the Jews therefore said unto him that was cured, It is the Sabbath day, friends. We'll write that down for our Saturday afternoon podcast, our Saturday night uh, podcast there. Hopefully, I'll be able to one one of these days. I'll be able to get on during the daytime uh, or the morning for our Sabbath uh, day service. So let's uh, keep rolling with this one. Uh, let's see. It is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. Exodus twenty ten. Now he answered them. He said, May, uh, "He that made me whole, the same said unto me, Take up thy bed and walk." Then asked they him, What man is that which said unto thee, Take up thy bed and walk? And he said, uh, he, Let's see, he that was healed wist not who it was, for Jesus had conveyed himself, uh, uh, I get that, uh, a multitude being in that place. Right? Amen. All right. Now, uh, afterward, Jesus findeth, findeth himself. Uh, in the temple, and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole. Sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee. Matthew twelve forty five. Now the man departed, and told the Jews that it was Jesus which had made him whole. Uh, and there did the Jews persecute Jesus, and sought uh, to slay him. Right. Because he had done these things on the Sabbath day. But Jesus answered them, uh, My father worketh hitherto, and I work. Therefore the Jews sought the more to kill him, because he not only had broken the Sabbath, but said also that God was his father, making himself uh, equal with God. John seven nineteen, as we see in the side scriptures here, in 19, Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, The Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. For the Father loveth the Son, and sheweth him all things, that himself doeth, and he will shew him greater works than these, that ye marvel. For as the Father raises up the dead and quickeneth them, even so, uh, let's see, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. All right, for the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment under the Son. Matthew eleven twenty seven, That all men should honor the Son, even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son, honoreth not the Father, which uh, hath sent him. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word, and believeth on him that sent me. And this is a key uh, verse here, friends, in, uh, as we see in 24 again. Let me go back to this, uh, friends. He says, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word, uh, and believeth on him that sent me, hath everlasting life, and shall not come unto condemnation, but is passed from death into life. John 3, 16, 1 John 3, 14. 
Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that uh, hear shall live. John 5, uh, 28. For as the Father had life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself, and hath given him authority to execute judgment, also because he is the Son of Man. Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming, in the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice, and shall come forth, and they have done good unto the resurrection of life, and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. I can of mine own self do nothing as I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because, uh, let's see, I think that was, uh, because I seek not mine own uh, own will, but the will of my Father, which hath sent me. All right, uh, catching up with some notes here. Matthew 26, 39. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. Uh, John eight fourteen. There is another that beareth witness of me. And I know the witness which she is witness of me is true. Matthew three seventeen for that. All right, you sent unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth. But I receive not testimony from man, but these things I say that he or ye might be saved, friends, as we know. All right, he was a burning and a shining light, and you were wintering. Uh, for a season to rejoice in his light, church. All right, let's roll on up here. Uh, in 36, I know this is a long set of scriptures, but it's I really believe it's important that we get this, uh, friends. So let's keep going. Verse 36 in the book of John this morning. But I have a greater witness than that of John, for the works which the Father hath given me to finish the same works that I do. Uh, let's see, uh, bear witness of me that the Father has sent me, and the Father himself, which hath sent me, hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. And ye have not his word abiding in you, for whom he has sent him ye believe not. Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life. And they, uh, as they which testify of me, that you will not come to me that ye might have life. I receive not honor from men, but I know you, that ye have not the love of God in you. I come in my Father's name, and you receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive, friends. How can ye believe which receive honor one of another, and seek not the honor that cometh from God only? John twelve forty three, Amen. Just kind of watching the clocks here. Uh, getting to that two-hour mark. We'll keep going here. A few more chapters for you and a few more scriptures for you this morning. Uh, amen. All right. So I believe about 40, uh, let's see, 44. How can ye believe which receive honor one of another and seek not the honor that cometh from God only? John 12, 43. Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. Romans 2, 12. For had, let's see, for had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me. For he wrote of me. Genesis 3.15, but if you believe not in his writings, how shall ye believe my words? And we're going to move on over to chapter 6 here in the book of John this morning in our, uh, still kind of technically our first hour, but we're going to be uh, cruising on through the second hour here. And like I said, just a couple more chapters, a couple more verses here for you, and we'll close the podcast out this morning. Uh, amen. Look at uh, let's look at John chapter six, friends. After all these things, in verse one, Jesus went over to the Sea of Galilee, 
which is the sea of Tiberias. And a great multitude followed him, because they saw his miracles, which he did on them, that were diseased. And Jesus went up in the mountain, or in the mountain, and there he sat with his disciples. And at the Passover, a feast of the Jews was nigh, Leviticus 23, 5, when Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, he saith unto Philip, Whence shall we buy bread, and these may eat, or that these may eat? And this uh, he said to prove him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, Two hundred penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may take a little. Numbers eleven twenty one. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, saith unto you, There is a lad here, which hath five barley loaves and two small fishes. But what are they among so many? Second Kings 4, uh, as he says here, uh, 4.43. And Jesus said, Make the men sit down. Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down in numbers about 5,000, or 5,000 here, in verse uh, 11. And Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed uh, to the, let's see, boy, those are messed up notes there. Uh, to the disciples, friends, and the disciples to them that were set down, and likewise of the fishes, so or as much as they would. When they were filled, he said unto his disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost. Therefore they gathered them together and filled twelve baskets with the fragments of the five barley loaves, which remained over and above unto them that had eaten. Now then those men, uh, friends, as he says, when they seen the miracle that Jesus did, said, this is of a truth, that prophet that should come unto the world. Now when Jesus therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force to make him a king, he departed again into a mountain himself alone. Uh, and when uh, when even was now come, his disciples went down unto the sea and entered into a ship and went over the sea towards Capernaum. And it was now dark, and Jesus was not come to them. And the sea arose by reason of a great wind that blew. So when they had rowed about five and twenty or thirty furlongs, they see Jesus walking on the sea and drawing nigh into the ship. They were afraid, friends, as he says here. But he saith unto them, It is I. Be not afraid, friends. Then they willingly received him into the ship, and immediately the ship was at the land whither they went. And the day following, the people which stood on the other side of the sea saw that there was none other boat there. Uh, amen. Now, uh, save that one whereunto his disciples were entered, and that Jesus went not with his disciples into the boat, but that his disciples were gone uh, away alone. Howbeit there come other boats from Tiberias nigh unto the place where they did eat bread. After that, the Lord had given thanks. All right. Now, when the people therefore saw that Jesus was not there, neither his disciples, they also took shipping and came to Capernaum, seeking for Jesus. And when they had found him on the other side of the sea, they said unto him, Rabbi, when camest thou hither? And Jesus answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, ye seek me not because ye saw the miracles, but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. Now labor not for the meat which perisheth it, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life. When the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him hath God the Father sealed. Then said they unto him, uh, What shall we do that we might work the works of God? Friends, let's go on to 29 here this morning. Now Jesus answered and said unto them, 
Uh, this is the work of God that you believe on him whom he has sent. They said before, or therefore, unto him, What sign shewest thou then, that we may see and believe thee? What dost thou work, friends? Uh, our fathers did eat manna in the desert, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Heavenly food there, right? Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread of heaven. Uh, but the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto uh, the world. Then said they unto him, Lord evermore, give us this bread, friends, right? Then said they unto him, Lord evermore, give us this bread. Again, kind of just going back over it again. Uh, 35, he says, and Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never uh, thirst. And that is your key verse for this one, friends. But I said unto you that ye also have seen me, and believe not. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me uh, I will in no uh, wise cast out. For I came down from heaven not to do mine own will, for the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me, I should lose nothing. They, but uh, as we look at the murmuring of the Jews here, uh, but should raise up again at the last day, John 10, 28. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son and believe on him, or believeth on him, may have everlasting life, friends. And I will raise him up at the last day. Uh, we got John 3.15, of course. Then the Jews murmuring at him because he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. And they said, it is, or is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it then that he saith, I come down from heaven? And Jesus in 43, right? Or, yeah, 43 here. Therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur not among yourselves. No man can come to me except the Father, which hath sent me, draw him. And I will raise him up at the last day. Song of Solomon 1.4. So it is written in the prophets, And they shall be all taught of God. Every man therefore that hath heard, and hath learned of the Father, cometh unto me. Not that any man hath seen the Father, save he which is of God, uh, he that seen the Father, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. And again, that's our key right there, friends. Uh, he says, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. John 3, 16. I am that bread of life, he tells them. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, and a man may eat thereof and not die. We've got John 6, 51 for that. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's go on to the next part here. Um, all right. I know this is a lot of verses here, but we got 70 on this one. Uh, friends this morning and we'll probably end up closing out with this one anyway so a little over two hours but uh, that's all right let's keep going let's keep reading here and we're in verse 51 uh, i am the living bread which came down from heaven if any man eat of this bread he shall live forever and the bread that i will give in my flesh which i will give for the life of the world now the Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Jesus saith, or said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, 
Ye have no life in you. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. 1 John 3.24 uh, As the living Father has sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even uh, he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven. Not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead, and he that eateth this bread shall live forever. These things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Many, therefore, of the disciples, when they had heard this, said this as a hard saying, Who can hear it? Right? Now when Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, uh, he said unto them, Doth this offend you? What, and if you shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before, Mark 16, 19, and Acts 1, 9. All right, it is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing, and the words that I speak unto you, they are spirits, uh, and they are life. But there are some of you that believe not, for Jesus knew, <coughs> All right, uh, for Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him, John 2, 24. And he said, therefore, said I unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him, friends, watch that, uh, of my father. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will ye see, uh, will ye also go away? Uh, hang on here. <coughs> Mercy. That's one of them coughs that won't go away. All right, let's double check my volume level. Amen. Looks okay to me. Amen. Uh, and Jesus answered them, Have not I chosen you twelve? And... One of you is a devil, uh, Luke six thirteen. He spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. All right, so we're not, we're not going to go into verse seven. That's for the next one here, probably. Uh, amen. All right. So John five and six. What a great scripture, friends. All right. What do we got? Uh, we got time for one more set of scriptures, friends. We're going to go all the way back over to Revelation again. I want to go through 20 to 22 uh, real quick here. Uh, maybe we'll see on our time again. Um, amen. All right, so let's uh, let's read it. Let's uh, let's see. We've got a little bit of time here on the clock, so let's go ahead and jump into Revelation, friends. Uh, Twenty. We'll see. Let's just read it and uh, kind of see where we're at with things here, friends, uh, if we will. So, twenty in the book of Revelation. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit. And a great chain in his hand, Revelation 118. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which we know is the devil, uh, and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. All right, and I saw thrones, and they sat upon him, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus, and for the word of God, and which had uh, which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark uh, upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Daniel seven nine. 
but the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. This is, friends, church, the first resurrection that we've talked so many times before. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. Isaiah 61, 6. And when a thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, uh, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea, Ezekiel 38, 2. And they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed, or compassed the camp of the saints about a beloved city and first came down from God out of heaven and devoured them, friends. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Revelation 14.10 for that. And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. And there was found no place. <laughs> Mercy, friends. I knew that was coming. Uh, that just caught me off guard, but I felt it coming. I just got a, something came through the studio again. Sorry about that, Steve. You guys can fast forward that. <laughs> At about the 211 mark. Sneeze alert in aisle six. I felt that coming. I couldn't stop it. Ah, uh, always something, friends. Anyway, thank you guys for <laughs> for being patient. It's a good thing I wasn't drinking my coffee. That hap That's actually happened here. Uh, if you goes back at the archives, you're gonna see that I was actually drinking coffee, and I sneezed and in the coffee went everywhere. It wasn't. It wasn't a pretty video. So. Actually, I think that was one of the only ones I had to actually edit and take that part out of it. But we're going to move on. It happens. Like I said, I have the win I have the windows open in the studio here. And I we get this spray that floats through the air or floats through the studio here. And uh, that that always happens. I mean, that happens. We, we get these sprays or something that's going on. They're spraying uh, something out there. And, boy, did I just get a whaff of that. And uh, about... <laughs> Uh, knocked me out of my chair, friends. Well, well, I never know here. All right, uh, we're in 20. We're going to keep rolling. Let's get a few more of these out here, friends. We'll probably close out here pretty quick. So let's keep going. Uh, again, thank you guys for your patience here. Let's go over as we are in, uh, I believe, 8. So he says, let's continue that. Uh, and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle the number uh, of whom is as the sand of the sea, Ezekiel 38, verse 2. Uh, let's see, we got nine, and they went up on the breadth of the earth, and compassed the camp of the saints about, and beloved city. And fire came down from God out of heaven, and not and devoured them. And the devil that had deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Revelation 14.10 And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and those found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, and stand before God, and the books were open. Again, we always talk about this. Two books of life, the book of life, and the Lamb's Book of Life, friends. And there it is on that one. Oh, amen. Wow. All right. Let's uh, see. We've got a little bit more here on this one. Let's go ahead and read it. Now, another book was opened, which is the Book of Life. And the dead were judged out of those things, which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and the de uh, death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every when according to their works. Uh, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. 1 Corinthians 15, 26. And whosoever was not found in the book of life was cast into the lake of 
fire fronts. And there you go. All right, so that's, I think I'm going to close out right there. Uh, that's a good spot to leave out and uh, close out on that one. Uh, let's see, put that pin out of the way so I don't lose it. And uh, I think we're going to close out right there, friends. Uh, about two and a half hour, two hours and 15 minutes or so. I think that's a good, uh, good spot to go to. Uh, amen. So we want, uh, let's see. I want to look at that uh, 15 verses. That's a pretty good spot there, friends. Uh, amen and amen. So let's uh, let's see. Amen. Right. Let's go there. Fix that part out. I think that's a good spot to you know to to end the podcast out. We don't have to go through you know three hours of pie. I mean, I could, but. Uh, I think we're okay there. I think that's a good spot to leave off. We'll pick up on the next one. Uh, it should be tonight, maybe. Um, all right. So, uh, let's see. We got 21 and 22 next. Uh, friends, that's what we'll pick up from there on that one. Uh, amen. All right, good spot to stop at. Well, I think we'll be okay there. Uh, I'll just work on this, and this will be the next uh, part there we pick up on. Amen. And boy, do I got a lot to cover here, friends. We're we're not. I mean, we're we're not even uh, done here, uh, friends, at all. But uh, I think that, like I said, that should be uh, a pretty good spot to stop at. So. That will be where we pick up. 21 and 22 in the book of Revelation, my friends. Amen. And then I'll go ahead and work on this uh, scheduling, get all this reset for you for tonight. Again, I should be back on. I want to really try to make a, a really good, strong effort uh, to, uh, you know, to, to stay on this uh, schedule uh, as, at least as best I can anyway. So that's what we'll do tonight. Uh, again, unless something happens or something changes, uh, friends, I should be uh, back up here later on tonight. So let's close out. I think we're okay there. Let's close out our uh, Spreaker channel, backup channel one, and uh, or three, actually. And then I'll go ahead and try to work on the monitors, why I'm not hearing that in the, uh, in the volume here in the headset. So anyway, stay tuned. Hold on, you guys. Let me close out the other channel. Uh, Spreaker Channel 3. Uh, see you on the next one, friends. Take care. All right. Uh, and we're going to go to radio.co UK. I'll see you guys on the next broadcast. You guys take care, friends. Amen. All right. There it is. And then we're going to go over to Channel 1 here before we close anybody out. We'll go to our uh, Block Talk Radio. Thank you guys again for a Wednesday morning first uh, or third service here, 1 30 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, Pastor Rick here on StreamYard TV, friends. See you soon. I'm in. All right, there it is and there it be, my friends. Amen. All right, uh, let's go to our live uh, channel on Spreaker, channel uh, one here on the main headset channel, uh, friends. All right, there it is. Give me a minute. I'll close out here in just a bit. Uh, we will uh, close our channels out. And that's it. Spreaker, channel one this morning, just a little after four o'clock in the morning. Friends, Pastor Rick, uh, Ministry Podcast Network. Friends, see you soon. Take care.